this is Stampy, and welcome to a Let's Play of Skylanders Trap Team! I sounded a little bit like Chaos then, didn't I? Welcome to Skylanders Trap Team! Chaos! <laughs> I think I'm not too bad at that. I think I'm uh, okay at my chaos impression. Anyway, I am here playing as Drobit. And I was playing as Drobit in the uh, the last episode too. And I had so much fun. And I've decided to, to stay playing as Drobit uh, for this episode, uh, episode as well. But you know what? If I fancy it, at some point during the video, I might switch around. Actually, what I could do is that in this episode, I could keep switching around which Skylander I am, uh, depending on which element is more effective that in is that area. That is good switch flipping. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, let's go and uh, head away across this bridge. I should probably tell what we're doing. Uh, we're going after... Whoa! We are falling. We are falling off bridges and into traps oh, of spiky no. things. You've been caught in the Atom Smasher. Don't worry. Happens to the best of us sometimes. I'll find a way to get you out. But in the meantime, just try not to get crushed. Okay. Um, good, good, good advice. Good advice. Uh, duly noted. Okay, don't get crushed. Don't get crushed. Hints of Oh, look, there's like atoms coming after me. Little atoms coming after me. And oh, no, they're, they're a little bit dangerous as well. All right, let's go try and take out all of the... All of the atoms, if I can. Uh, if I blast them, I think I blast them uh, into into smaller atoms, I think. And oh, I can use my uh, my gears as well uh, to try and make them uh, even smaller. And uh, this is tough. This is actually pretty tough. I'm kind of glad uh, that I'm one of the um, the mini Skylanders because if I was one of the, uh, the bigger ones, uh, then it would be kind of hard to dodge them. I'm quite speedy and quite small. And uh, using my lasers to, to break them up uh, is pretty uh, effective. So I think I, I'm a good Skylander for the uh, for the job right now. But that, uh, yeah, it doesn't mean to say that this is in any way easy as they just keep coming. And the problem is once you destroy the big one, they destroy, like, they turn into, like, two smaller ones. So even when you're destroying them, you're just ending up getting even more of them. And it's really hard to destroy them. You need to try and aim uh, right in the, the very middle uh, of them to, to blow them up. So it's actually uh, pretty difficult. And then there's laser shields and spikes uh, all the way around the outside as well so it's just certainly difficult but there we go I was able to to do it nonetheless and so now I can go and uh, hop my way out of here and uh, hopefully carry on making my way to Wolfgang okay now all you gotta do is walk through that atom smasher over there seems safe enough right walk through an atom smasher um you do know that I am made out of atoms you do know that Everything is made out of atoms. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so we've got to go through the Atom Smasher, but before we go through the Atom Smasher, let's go and have a, a little look around here and uh, waste some time before we go and do the, uh, the really dangerous thing. And oh, look, here we go. Look, I found one of these, um, the winged sapphire thingies. Uh, can I actually get to it, though? It's just out of my reach. Right, I think I need to um, uh, move some of these blocks around uh, in order to, to try and line them up. So if I slide that one along to there... And then, what do I do next? I don't see uh, any of the, the other ones I can actually slide. Oh, I can slide this one along here, and then this one down, and then I can kind of just move this one out the, the way, I think. And, uh, oh, actually, um, do I need this one to be... Can I move these two along together? Aha! I can. I think this is all I need to do. I think if I just move this into place here, and then I can jump on uh, the top of these, and uh, then go and uh, get up to it. There we go, I was able to, to solve the puzzle. See, it was a good idea that I looked around. And these are really good. Uh, they basically mean that I, I get a discount on everything that I, I, I buy. So uh, it's definitely worth trying to get uh, as many of these uh, as I can. A winged sapphire, 2% discount on all upgrades. And I know 2% doesn't seem like much, but if you get lots of 2%, it all starts uh, adding up. And all they're also... Seems to be a, a bit of an area over here, but I don't know. Can I jump? No. Do you reckon that if I arrange these blocks in a different way, I'd be able to get up there? If I slide this one to here, and can I, oh, I can't slide it that way at all, and I can't slide these back. You see, if there's a way to get on top of these blocks, uh, I might be able to, to jump across. If I did this to here, do you reckon I'd be able to jump on that? And then jump on the blocks and jump across. Let's see if I can get on top of it. I don't think I can. And if I move that to there, will I be able to do it? I don't think I'm doing this right. I think I'm uh, supposed to do this another way. But as soon as I've set it up, I might as well go and give it a quick go. 
Uh, can I jump across to that block? Oh, no, just about can't. Okay, I won't worry about that for now. Uh, what I need to worry about is uh, stopping Wolfgang from using the um, the big bad woofer, a big speaker uh, that he's going to use to destroy everything here. And we, of course, uh, do not want that to happen. So me and uh, Drobit are going to head inside and uh, try and stop him from doing so. Skylanders of the undead element are stronger in this Aha, uh -huh, so I want to be the, uh, the undead element here. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to stay as Drobit for now. I'm going to stay as Drobit because I am enjoying playing as Drobit so <laughs> uh, he will uh, he will do for now. As I said, I might switch around a little bit later on. Uh, it's kind of nice just to uh, to keep switching uh, between the back and forth. And oh, I forgot I can fly now. Uh, that gives me a, a really big speed boost. And look, <laughs> there's a huge hologram of um uh, of Wolfgang here playing his whatever that harp guitar thing is. <laughs> whatever it is, it doesn't look very friendly. Right, let's go try and get behind this robot. Uh, these ones have uh, shields on the front, uh, so you can't attack them from the front. Uh, you have to try and get behind them like this. And I should use my gears, actually, because uh, I got a um, an upgrade for them at the end of the last episode. Uh, so they do now do a, a whole load uh, more damage, which is uh, very handy. And I can take all of these guys out and, uh, and level up. Right, is that all of them? Is that all of them? I got a feeling there's going to be some more things coming after me, but we're seeing. Just look at <laughs> Wolfgang going absolutely crazy here. No, oh, here they come. There's some little robot chompies coming after me. And uh, I think that was uh, a walrus as well. Look, they're just spawning in. They're just all being teleported in from somewhere, I guess. Uh, they have the uh, the technology to, uh, to do that in the future. And oh, no, here comes the big chompy. <laughs> it's hard to be scared of them when they look so ridiculous. They look so happy, these big, shiny robot chompies. But it looks like we got them and one of these uh, other four force field robots as well so uh, this is um getting a, a little bit difficult i do think I have some health down low, though. I think there was an orange or something down there, which I can uh, pick up uh, if I do really need it. So at least uh, I have that. But I am getting a little bit overwhelmed now, and it's kind of hard to, to flank around and get behind these robots uh, when there's so many other things there. I actually think the robots were kind of shooting each other there, which uh, kind of helped me out a lot. And, oh, that one was definitely shooting me that time, though. <laughs> Drove it, though, is actually pretty tough. I normally uh, struggle a little bit with the uh, the Skylanders when I first switch to them, uh, especially the, the mini Skylanders. But Drove it. Uh, seems to be doing well. Let me see if that health is still down here. No, the health's gone. The health is gone. All right, looks like uh, I'm doing this uh, by myself then. All right, can I get behind them and do some damage? There we go. Oh, no, I've got to dodge. Got to dodge and dodge the uh, the little the little uh, air thing. You see that when they land, there's the um, the little uh, white lines go out in a circle. I need to avoid them as well because they hurt me. What I could do is actually switch over to, to Rage Mage for a little bit and let Rage Mage go after them because Rage Mage is pretty tough. There we go. They're doing some, some good damage uh, getting behind these robots. But oh no, it's getting completely taken out there. It got stuck in them almost there and it got almost completely taken out. And uh, yeah, I was only able to do one of the, the robots as Rage Mage. But right, let's try and stay back a little bit then and shoot my lasers. Oh no, I left the area. Are they, are they going to still be there? Oh no, hopefully I'm not going to be uh, having to start again there. I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally left the area and need to, to go back in now then. And uh, my health hasn't gone back up at all. Uh, but there seems to only be one big robot here for now. So let me try and uh, get behind it and try and do some damage. I need to get behind it. Oh, that was close. That was uh, a little bit too close for comfort there. Right, let's go and shoot my lasers. And there we go. I was able to, to take it out. And woo, there we go. I didn't make me have to, to take them all out again. And oh, looks like I need to... To, to get rid of some Traptanium here. So I'm going to go and switch over to a Lobstar. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, and uh, yeah, let's see if we can uh, break open this uh, Tractanium and uh, yes, yeah, see whatever's on the, the other side. Is there some way to get to the other side? There seems to be a whole load of platforms in the background, but I don't seem to know how to get there. Aha! It seems to have uh, made a, a big bridge up here that I can now go and uh, walk across. So uh, let me go and switch back over to, to Drobit. And uh, yeah, let's go and see uh, what's over here. There's obviously uh, some sort of secret area over here probably some sort of reward for me to get and it looks like a, a bit of a puzzle as well right the first thing i want to do is uh, go and grab Every this pizza uh oh uh oh robot the blaster tron okay i don't think i can trap it and oh no it's just teleported me in i wasn't coming this way i was going to to go and get the pizza to try and get my health up and it just brought me closer okay looks like we're we're going straight into a boss fight and i am getting really really hurt all right let's go and uh, use a uh, rage mage then shall we and to uh, see if they can do some damage if i go and do this i can make a little orb appear but it looks like i'm not getting left uh, alone long enough uh, in order to be able to do it let's take out these walrus starfish thing first then shall we and 
And then we can just go, hopefully, a one-on-one -on -one against the robot. Actually, I'm quite far away here. Am I going to be able to spawn it in? Go, 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 go. And yes, there we go. I was able to, to just about uh, spawn it in in time there. And uh, now I can go and take some of these people out. And I've actually I've done quite a lot of uh, good damage uh, against this robot. Let's try and get behind it and try and hit it a bit. Uh, there we go. I'm doing a little bit of damage, not a, a huge amount. I think it's good to be one of the um, uh, the, the Skylanders uh, that can fire at range against this guy. Because that way when he's running around, you still got a good chance of getting him. But I am so, so weak here. So, so weak. I have only got uh, 92 health left. And it just keeps spinning in circles. <laughs> it means that it can't hurt me, but I also I can't hurt it. Oh, no, no. It hurt me a little bit there. It just sort of nudged me out of the way. So I don't want to get too close because uh, then I just get hurt if I... Uh, if if I hit it, let me just keep running around the outside. And there we go. It finally gave up and just decided to, to run away. There we go. This is what I wanted. And oh, no. That is not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted. Right. Here seems to be a, a good chance to, to switch over uh, to a, a different uh, character then. Uh, let's go and switch to. I know who to switch to. I know who to switch to. Actually, no. I was going to switch to Pop Fizz. But instead of that, I am going to go and switch over to Flame Slinger. And a Flameslinger is a, uh, a Skylander I have played as before, but only very briefly. I'm not even sure if I've played as them uh, properly before. I uh, see I had a tiny bit amount of money for them, but they were still only level one. And whoa! Oh, look, I can run and leave fire all over the place. Oh, look, if I just circle uh, fire all the way around, uh, then that means if the, uh, the robot walks after me, they're just going to be walking into the fire. And I can go and use all of my uh, my arrows as well. Flameslinger is uh, pretty awesome, actually. There we go. I can run behind and try and shoot the, uh, the packs on the back and uh, I'm not very strong yet because I'm only level one uh, I'm not doing a, uh, a huge amount of, uh, of damage, but uh, I'm doing okay. I love how fast I am. I think this is going to be a really good Skylander uh, once I've uh, fully leveled him up. But my fire doesn't actually uh, seem to be doing any damage at him. Maybe because he's walking into it and it's not behind him. Uh, it's not actually doing uh, much damage against him. So let's try and uh, get around behind him then and start doing uh, a bit more damage. I might switch back over to, to Rage Mage for a bit. Let's uh, see if I can spawn in the big ball before he hurts me. There we go. I was able to, to spawn in this ball, uh, which would hopefully do some uh, some good damage against him if he hits it from behind. I'm not sure if he did then. Oh no, I'm getting stuck. I'm getting stuck in the corner. I need to try and run around behind. And there we go. I'm doing a little bit of damage. I actually, if I'm honest, I think that Rage Mage is uh, probably not the, the best villain I have. I do uh, have some, some better villains. It, it's okay. I like the Rage Mage. The Rage Mage looks cool. And uh, that is kind of uh, what I normally value above how effective they are. So <laughs> at least I can take that away. And uh, this villain uh, is pretty hurt now. They've only got a, a very smaller amount of uh, health left. So I should uh, be uh, quite uh, able to, to finish them off uh, by using these two. No, I think he did. Did he just fall off? I think he just fell off the edge. Or did he just give up? I think he just had enough. No, I think he just fell off the edge. <laughs> I can't actually uh, capture him, though, because... Uh, yeah, it's of a, uh, an unknown element. I think... I have been reading your comments... And a lot of you have been disagreeing about what you think the, the unknown elements are. Some of you are saying it's the chaos element. A lot of you are saying that it's the, the light and dark element. Uh, but whatever it is, uh, it seems to be an elephant. Uh, an elephant? <laughs> it seems to be an element uh, that, yeah, I'm not a label, uh, I'm not able to, to use yet. Anyway, let's go and uh, eat up this pizza. And oh, looks like we can play some, some Skystone Smash. Jolly good. I, I love playing uh, Skystone Smash. So let's go and uh, speak to uh, this Mabu here and uh, have a game. Most people these days play space chess or even space tac toe. But me, I've got a love for the classics like Skystone Smash. Want to play? Ah, uh, the long enduring game of Skystone Smash. I do hope we're going to be playing this game in the future. All right. Commence retro gaming. <laughs> let's do it. So... Uh, yeah, they all look good enough to me. I will not question uh, what this game recommends. It looks like we're playing on a massive Lego board, doesn't it? <laughs> or kind of like bubble wrap. It looks like we're playing on a big sheet of bubble wrap. And it uh, looks like we both have 10 health. Um, what shall I do here then? Oh, look, if I use this one, I'm going to be able to, to take them out uh, as well as uh, staying alive, uh, which means, um, yeah, which is basically good, obviously. Uh, I'm going to assume uh, that you know how to play this game uh, because I kind of explain the uh, how to play the game almost every single time. And uh, yeah, you probably don't need me to anymore because <laughs> you all uh, probably know already. So uh, let's go and... Um 
Let's use, yeah, let, let's, let's use this one. So these people are just going to take each other out. Uh, but then my robot, the one I just captured as well, uh, is going to be able to do three hearts of damage. And that was actually a, a, probably not a great villain because I wasn't able to capture them. Uh, but it seems to be a really good card in a Skystone Smash. And this one only has one health, uh, but does four damage. And what does the sheep do again? Uh, turn an enemy card into a sheep. Well, they only got one enemy card. On. Actually, let's use this. Then I can go and turn that one uh, into a sheep. And then I should be able to, to take out the sheep. Let's use Sheepify, shall we? <laughs> and then I should be able to uh, pretty easily take them out. I don't know about you, but I reckon I'm going to win this round really easily. Unless they got an absolutely amazing stone hidden uh, in the, the pack. I think I've won this easily. Look, I've got, I'm going to have three on the board. And they're only going to, to have one. So uh, let's go and um, uh, let's use... Uh, let's use this one uh, because he's yeah, going to use a uh, fire blast, uh, which is going to a uh, fireball, sorry, uh, which is going to to hurt their bird, and uh, then hopefully uh, my other character is able uh, going to be able to to finish them off. Uh, but you know what? I think I've just won anyway. So I I think I had to use zero tactics there anyway, and look, I've won. Easy. It didn't even matter what happened in that fight because I have won anyway. You defeated Gumbus the one hundred thousandth. <laughs> I didn't know. Sorry, the the ten thousandth. I mean. And I got a whole, whoa, 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 300, well, 3,300 even. <laughs> oh, dear, I'm not doing very good on my numbers I today, am I? who even remembers how to play Skystone Smash, let alone beat me at it. A scratching success! That was actually probably one of the uh, the easiest rounds of a Skystone Smash I have played so far. And I'm not complaining, though, because uh, Flameslinger now uh, went from having pretty much no money to having a lot of money, which means I'm going to be able to do some some big upgrades in the, uh, in the future. So uh, let me go and uh, grab this bridge. And uh, go and uh, plonk it down over here. I might as well keep doing the uh, the radio as well. Uh, so I can get some money out of that uh, in a second. And I've also found a hidden soul gem. I'm doing okay. I think I'm actually doing uh, pretty well. Uh, finding all of the uh, the secrets. I'm pretty sure there's at least one uh, which I uh, I haven't found so far. Uh, but I reckon um I reckon I'm doing a, a pretty decent job. Probably uh, slightly better than I normally do. And I normally do pretty bad to be fair. But I'm doing slightly better than pretty bad, which I guess means I'm just doing plain bad. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's go and uh, do the radio again. And uh, hopefully that will start spewing out some money soon once it's played uh, some more tunes. And uh, then yeah, we can go and uh, carry on heading where we're supposed to be heading and uh, try and finally uh, try. Track down Wolfgang. Are you going to give me any money, please, radio? Money, please. I wish real radios were like this. You could just keep switching stations for long enough. You know, you want to go and buy a cake from a bakery and you don't have enough money. Just put the radio on for half an hour and just get a load of money so you can buy some cakes. <laughs> that would uh, be pretty handy. Anyway, let's carry on going. I love playing as Flameslinger just because of how fast he is. The way he can just run all over the place like this is uh, really cool. So uh, I think this is uh, where I uh, need to head to. Yeah, I'm supposed to be following this person, aren't I? Those look like blueprints, all right. Funny that they would be just sitting there, but <laughs> whatevs. Hmm. I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit worried that this might be some sort of a, a trap. And I love the way that blueprints in the uh, the future uh, are going to be literally 3D blueprints, like a like a hologram of blueprints floating. <laughs> and uh, there does seem to be some more holograms of Wolfgang. He certainly seems to be a, a Skylander that uh, loves himself, doesn't he? All uh, right, it looks like I don't need that bridge anymore. I can't pick it up. I can go and uh, get even more money. Look at that! I got um, 3,500 money already for Flameslinger, and I've only played as him for, for half the video so far as well, so Sports not too bad. Ring finger, you did it! You found the blueprints! Now all we gotta do is destroy the power conduits from the outside! Right now, right now, right now! The Big Bad Woofer is about to take off and broadcast the loudest concert in history! All throughout the Skyland! Uh-oh, that means we gotta get off of this thing and into our ship, fast! Okay, I will not question you, we need to go. That was pretty fast. I don't think this is good, this is not good, it's gonna destroy everything. Okay, Skylands, let's rock! <laughs> I need to stop it somehow, what are we gonna do? We need to go after it. According to these blueprints, all we need to do is destroy the power conduits which power the big bad woofer. So let's do that. Okay, Skylander, time to start shooting. Okay, okay. Uh, move left stick to, to turn stick. How do I shoot? Uh, okay, this is how I shoot then. I need to destroy the uh, the force fields first. Uh, so turn around, turn around. Okay, press circle to turn the ship around. 
And uh, then if I aim up and down, can I destroy it? There we go. So those blue things, uh, they're the uh, the conduits. But there's a whole big force field and oh, missiles and missiles as well. I need to, to make sure I avoid the missiles. But there we go. There's another conduit gone. And oh, look, the missiles are going up and down as well. Can I avoid it? Oh, just about. Just about able to, to avoid that one. I need to turn back around and try and destroy that conduit. There we go. Uh, there's a, a whole load of them down. And now let's go and speed up for a little bit and try and get to this next conduit. There's lots of lasers. There's green lasers being fired back at us. I need to avoid them. Oh, turn around, turn around, turn around. I didn't quite get it. I didn't quite get it. One more blast. And there we go. I was able to, to take that one out. No, don't turn around again. Turn back. Oh, no, I walked straight into that laser. You can see there the um the huge hologram of Wolfgang uh, up above us just dancing. And oh, no. <laughs> I look like I'm purposely trying to drive into the missiles. I am doing absolutely uh, awful at this. I need to, to dodge up and down uh, a lot more than I am doing. And oh, turn straight back into that missile again. Luckily, I do seem to have quite a lot of health still. And uh, that's good. I got rid of all the uh, the conduits on the outside. Uh, but it seems like there's uh, more uh, on the, the inside as well. So uh, once this is opened up, I reckon we're going to have to go and uh, try and take out a whole load of them as well. You can see like the, the pianos and stuff around the, the outside too. Right, they've got that one. Speed up, go, 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 go. Luckily though, a lot of the um a lot of the, the force fields have gone out. Oh, look, oh no, they're being rebuilt. The force fields are being rebuilt. That's a, a bit of a pain. But all of the, the health of my ship has uh, fully gone back up again. So that's uh, pretty handy. I'm going to take out this one. If I go and turn back around now, I can go and hopefully take out that one. You see those lasers uh, underneath me though are going to be shooting at me. I'm going to try and dodge them. Nope. I'm doing a pretty rubbish do uh, job at dodging them. I'm doing I'm doing better at actually shooting them now though. Right, looks like the, uh, the other ones uh, are over in this direction. If I just fly really high, uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to, to avoid the uh, the plasma or whatever it is they're shooting at me. And uh, let's try and just destroy this force field here. Can I dodge the laser? Nope. Uh, so really hard to, to dodge them actually. But luckily uh, they don't seem to be doing too much damage. And there we go. I destroyed all of the power conduits. Hopefully the uh, the big we bad woofer can't be played now. We shut the big bad power supply and the concert is cancelled. We did it. Huzzah! I guess there's still the matter of capturing Emperor Wolfgang. I'll leave that to you, though. He, um, terrifies me. <laughs> I don't blame you. Well, well, well. Look who's managed to attend my big concert. Some 10,000 years into the future. You know, Skylander, we don't have to fight. Together, we could rule this place. There's no chaos, no Doom Raiders, and you can get pizza here in 30 seconds or less! Nah, let's just fight instead! Alright, looks like I'm finally going up against the the dreaded Wolfgang then. And whoop, he's charging after me. He's charging after me. Oh, I so wish that I could um go to uh, Persephone uh, before going into the fight because I haven't upgraded Flameslinger at all. Flameslinger is still level one. I've got like no experience for him. This is going to be a very difficult fight. In fact, I think this might be an almost impossible fight. So because of that, I am going to go and switch over to my favorite, the beloved Pop Fears. And I also might switch over uh, which villain I'm going to be uh, playing as uh, as well. And so instead uh, of using uh, Rage Mage, I'm going to be Scrap Shooter. And uh, we can try out uh, this guy for a little bit and see how much damage uh, he can do. So uh, what um what uh what attacks does this guy have? Again, I think this is the one that shoots the the barrels. Yeah, this one shoots barrels all over the place. But we all of course know what Pop Fizz does. Uh, he's got all of the uh, the different potions, and then he can also drink a potion uh, to go into to rage mode as well. So if I shake it, I can change the potions that I throw, and these little ones all just run around attacking him, and then these uh, green ones leave splodge all over the floor. And ooh, that was a good move, because he, he went and charged straight into the, the splodge. Anyway, let's go and drink it, and let's go into to rage mode, shall we? And then we can start doing some, some real damage against him once he comes down. There we go, if I can start hitting him. Whoa, look at that. That is some rather massive damage, and can I avoid him? I was just about able to uh, avoid him there, and again. Right, let's go and uh, set a whole load of these little ones. Actually, let's do the, um, the green one. Right, I want to make sure I'm always ready to do the green one once he's uh, about to go and uh, do that move where he slides along. Because I can basically leave a, a big trail of the green goop and then he'll just hopefully go through it all. Uh, let me go and, uh, yeah, I'm on the, the green one now. Let me go and throw that down. If I throw it down just where he's standing, it just keeps hitting him. If he doesn't move immediately, he's just jumping back into it. He doesn't seem uh, to be very worried about avoiding it. Right, here we go. If I throw down a bunch of the green goop, I oh, know I didn't throw it down in the right place. And I'm actually uh, getting a really hurt here. Pop Fizz 
is only a level 5. I assume to be uh, higher than him. The problem is I always start to hit, uh, as him in videos, uh, but then I never actually end up playing as him, so he doesn't actually get his uh, levels up uh, all that much. So, uh, what well, what's going on here? Skylander? Stuff from the past keeps coming back in the Oh, what's going on? Oh, okay, okay. This is going to be dangerous now. We're stuck right next to each other. I'm going to have to be uh, really clever uh, with how I uh, avoid him. It's kind of hard to throw them down. Well, this will be a good time to throw down all of the uh, the green stuff uh, because I know exactly where he's going to go uh, because he's only got a choice to kind of go in one direction. So I can go and uh, put down all of the, the green goop, green goop uh, all over the, the floor around here. And there we go. He just goes and slides uh, entirely uh, through it all. But I might actually uh, go and switch around uh, to a, uh, a new Skylander and uh, for a little bit I might go as I'm looking at them all I'm trying to decide let's go as the Jawbreaker I think that uh, Jawbreaker is a, a pretty powerful uh, Skylander to be as uh, so let's go and uh, keep switching out Skylanders uh, so they can all have a, a good chance uh, going up uh, against him and Jawbreaker is actually pretty weak as well he's uh, only level one but look at him go look at him just punching away he's um he's pretty powerful <laughs> they can go and uh, charge up the fist they do more damage and just keep going after him I'm getting hurt a lot but I'm able to do a lot of damage Right, let's go and uh, switch over again then, shall we? Uh, let's go and switch over to Gusto, I think this person was called, wasn't he? This is, yeah, Gusto! And I think Gusto's a, a pretty good one as well. Let's go and uh, keep switching for a few more of these uh, Trap Masters then, shall we? And let them do a little bit of damage. There we are, throwing my big boomerang, spinning in a circle. He's just there chatting to me. He's just there chatting to me as I'm taking him out. And what's going on here? There's some big holograms. All right, looks like I'm, I'm dodging some lasers for a bit. I am probably one of the worst Skylanders to be when dodging lasers because I am rather large. It's um, <laughs> kind of difficult to stand in between where the lasers are. And, ooh, just about. Just about able to dodge those ones. I could dodge those ones as can. Oh, can I stand in the middle? Yep. Yeah. Just about uh, able to stand here. Okay, I need to get in this big circle here. This is cool. This is cool. Oh, oh I wish I could duck then. I wish I could duck underneath them. Always oh, just firing them one at a time. Now I need to jump that one and jump that one. Oh, this is so close. <laughs> this is terrifying. And jump over that one and get under that one. Oh, no. That was only one. Out of all of that, though, only one of the lasers hit me. Oh, no, the lasers are still coming, though. He hasn't finished with the lasers. He's still uh, going after me with the lasers. This is definitely the toughest boss battle uh, I have been in so far. And right, let's switch over to a, uh, a new Skylander now then, shall we? Uh, let's go and switch over to a uh, Wallop, shall we? Wallop uh, is another pretty powerful one uh, that should be uh, able to do quite a lot of damage. Another big and uh, possibly slow one, though, uh, but he is pretty powerful. And oh, look, he got his um, he got his guitar stuck. There we go. Oh, look at him go. Look at the damage he is doing. He's destroying him. I need to make sure, though, that I'm uh, just uh, dodging all of the, the lasers at the same time, though. And nope, I wasn't able to, to avoid them. And I am getting uh, really rather quite hurt here. But to be fair, so is is a uh, Wolfgang. Wolfgang is getting pretty hurt as well. So what I'm actually going to do is go and switch uh, back over uh, to um, uh, Pop Fizz uh, so he can go and have the uh, the last final blow and uh, hopefully uh, get all of the, the rewards uh, for finally capturing the very evil Wolfgang. Oh, I'm very hurt though and I'm taken out already. <laughs> right, forget that then. Uh, let's go and switch over to... Who haven't we been as... Let's be Bushwhack, I think, uh, for the uh, the end of the battle then. And uh, there we go. I think this is a, a record for the most switches of Skylanders in one boss fight, isn't it? Right, let's go and switch over to Bushwhack and go and do a little bit more damage. Oh, I need to avoid the lasers. No, I don't. I don't need to because I was already able Wolfgang to defeat Wolfgang. And so now, if I put in my undead trap, I can trap him, and now I can fight as Wolfgang, which will be very handy because he seems to be very powerful. Oh. Stick around for the encore! What? What happened? Uh, oh well, the show must go on. Wolfgang Trap. <laughs> Yay! I captured Wolfgang. Of course I'm going to choose Wolfgang. This guy seems awesome. When I say awesome, he's evil and mean, and we spend the whole time trying to take him down. But now he's on our side. I am a very happy Stampy Cat. And I got him as a Sky Stone as well. It's a, it's a good day. It's a good day. And there we go. I was able to to do all the things I needed to do. Uh, yeah, I didn't do too good finding the, the secret areas. Yeah, actually, I did pretty rubbish. I only got one star. But there we go. Uh, I ranked up anyway. I'm now Portal, uh, Portal Master rank 11. Not too bad. 
And now let's see what we need to go and do next to try and take out the golden woman. Uh, you can see on the other uh, right of your screen there. <laughs> Dum-de-dum-dum-dum-dum, -dum -dum -dum. future post delivery service package for the Golden Queen. Uh-oh, I must have gone back too far. <sighs> no, you're in the right place. Great! <clears throat> At future post we say we will travel very far, or we'll deliver it today when you order it tomorrow. Here's your keys. It smells worse than anything in Skylands, and I wasn't even programmed to smell. Poor love. Dum de dum 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 dum. <laughs> Attention, all Skylands! It is I, your magnificent queen. I would like to take this opportunity to present the three gold rules that I now expect all of you to follow. Rule number one, all Skylanders must surrender to me immediately and release my fellow Doom Raiders. Rule number two, all gold in Skylands must be delivered to me as fitting tribute. And rule number three, I reserve the royal right to make up an infinite number of more rules! <laughs> and, just in case, let me show you what will happen if you break any of my rules! Another setback for the Pinchy. Now I've got Skylands right where I want it. <laughs> Great! You fools really blew it this time! Her royal lowness now has all of Skylands and us totally at her mercy! Oh, why were things never this easy for me? We're not licked yet. We just gotta stop that Golden Queen before she has a chance to make good on her threats. Any idea where she might be, smart guy? Eh, eh, don't be ridiculous. She's far too clever for that. She keeps her stupid temple in some stupid secret location so no one can steal any of her stupid gold. That's it, gold. Eh, what? What are you blabbing about? Look here, shorty. There's a legendary gang of air pirates who live way up in the Sky Highlands. They've got this magic prism that can point the way to extremely large deposits of gold. A real time saver when it comes to plundering. Right, and since Queenie there is totally made out of gold, that piratey plunder prism should lead us right to her. Boom, let's go there now. Well, there's just one little problemo there, Flynn. To get all the way up to the Sky Highlands, we're gonna need a big rocket. Boom withdrawn. Where are we gonna get a big rocket? I think I know just the place. Skylander, when you're ready, come see me and Captain Flynn. Okay, well, things have uh, certainly <laughs> heated up now. It's getting kind of dramatic now. So we got Wolfgang, but the uh, the Golden Queen seems to uh, definitely be uh, let to, to go loose at large now. Um, sorry that this episode went on for so unbelievably long. Uh, thank you uh, for sticking with it for the entire length and getting to the end. I know a lot of you do like these uh, longer episodes anyway, so hopefully uh, this was uh, an unexpected treat. Uh, but yeah, I didn't want to, to cut any of the action when it was halfway through it. And uh, yeah, in the next episode, I'm going to be going to try and get a big rocket so I can finally go and try and take out the Golden Queen. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But by now, I want to thank you all uh, very much for watching, and I will see you all later.